Welcome to Details Episode 3. You're here with Walid and Nada. And today we're here to talk about a very exciting topic. Do you want to introduce it? Pablo Escobar's hippos. You Pub? guys, you guys might be wondering what the hell does a, a drug lord have to do with hippos, right? Mm-hmm. They call it cocaine hippos. Cocaine hippos. They're, they're not stashing cocaine. They're not high. There's nothing wrong. They're regular with hippos, I promise. Regular hippos, just not in their regular environment. <laughs> yeah, go on. Explain the context. So, mm-hmm. Pablo Escobar had an illegal zoo on his estate, his mansion, whatever you can call it. This I wouldn't even call it a mansion. That's like downgrading how <laughs> this guy had a bullfighting arena. In Man. his house. Like, why? Like, why? <laughs> he was just too rich. Too rich. People yeah. who are too rich just do anything but with their money. the question is, how rich was he? hmm <laughs> This is last minute Google things. Pablo Escobar had... 30 at- billion US, not US dollars? That's his net worth. Oh. 30 billion dollars. Yes. And Insane. that was at the time of his death. And it has been said that at the height of his... um drug career Mm -hmm. don't get any ideas people drug career okay (laughs) at the height of his career he was making 420 million dollars a week how much is that a year a week with it i mean a month with it 420 times 52 that's, that's what it is and that's a lot i don't want to put with it on the spot no that's too much we're gonna be here all day and pablo escobar's brother claims that 10 percent of Pablo Escobar's money, which at the time, according to his brother, was $2.1 billion. 10%. $2.1 billion a year. Was eaten by rats. And just lost. Eaten by um, rats. Man, I can need to I find be, these. Can I be those rats? <laughs> can I find those rats? <laughs> just and like just cut their stomach. Carve them up. Oh my God. Animal imagine? cruelty. You just find like 500 million in a, a rat's <laughs> stomach. You're like, oh, in no way. <laughs> Back to these hippos. Mm -hmm. So basically on this illegal zoo, he had about 40 different exotic animals from 40 kangaroos to giraffes to elephants. This guy had like, he just was rich. He's like, you know what? I wish I could feel like I'm in Africa. Bring me some lions. Yeah, literally. So Pablo Escobar had four hippos. Mm -hmm. One from Africa. Yeah, exported from Africa. Yeah. One male hippo, three female hippos. That's a big mistake. <laughs> that is a very, very <laughs> big mistake. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so he had that many hippos, right? Mm-hmm. Um, when his mansion was um, like overtaken or whatever, it was claimed back by the government or the police or whoever. Yeah. At the time of and his death. And when he was killed, yeah. 1993. Yeah. 1993. Um, all the animals were distributed to zoos that were around except the hippopotamuses and why Why? is that because they range from 1500 kilos on average some can go up to 3000 kilos three tons that's huge that's huge i looked up as a comparison what's 1500 kilos a a regular nissan car toyota camry like a sedan is 1500 (laughs) there's some hippos that can be double the size of your car that you drive for your nine to five job every day. Insane. They hella thick. They are thick. <laughs> That's insane. It's crazy. So anyways, they couldn't transport them basically. Yeah. Out of Colombia, out of Escobar's, I don't know, palace, nice mansion. And that another he's got. reason that they couldn't do this is because hippos are very, very aggressive. Yes. Very aggressive creatures. Very dangerous. And okay, many- so some people might say, okay, but he had elephants and elephants are also quite aggressive before we get to that in in context of how aggressive they are how many die a year in africa so um 500 people die a year from africa from hippo attacks insane when you compare that to how many people die from lion attacks lion attacks are 250 only hippos are 500 do not mess with hippos do not mess do not mess with them especially pablo escobar's ones but anyways you just know that they're like top-notch hippos to get he's you. got a lot of money he ain't buying bad hippos <laughs> <laughs> yeah go on he's buying elite top of the range <laughs> top of the range yeah. um so another reason that the hippos were so difficult to um i guess take out mm. was because hippos spend most of their time in the water who's mm. gonna go fish like how are you gonna fish a hippo out of the water yeah right? yeah so the problem now is in colombia 
there are no predators to that eat hippos or like that are killing hippos. There's yeah. no droughts. Mm-hmm. There's so much good water. It's like prime like environment. Weather in Colombia, it's prime. Op- optimal Africa conditions. Doesn't really support hippos in terms of from a weather perspective because of the drought. So yeah. it kind of solves the hippo issue. Yeah, it controls the population. But Colombia is like a sauna for these hippos. They are loving it. They're, They're in just heaven. like, man. This is the best place to reproduce and reproduce and reproduce. So now... So now, within the next 15 years, it's expected that there's going to be more than 1,500 hippos. Insane. (laughs) We started from four. Started from four. One male. This guy is a legend. This guy, man, he's been busy (laughs) making them hippos but we started with four a male and three females now around in colombia we have it ranges from 80 to 120 120. mind you they're all compact in this one what is it river or some it's basically the same town and like they've gone um from one point of the river to the end they've been found all the way on the other side of the river which is about 70 kilometers away so picture this they're all together 80 to 120 of them on this mansion estate and scientists say that in the next decade only 10 years they anticipate 1400 hippos from 80 currently or 120 whatever it is 1400 not that an increase of like a thousand and something percent like that's insane i, I don't know math <laughs> yeah, I don't want to say that in case I'm wrong, but I think it is. It's you guys insane. can correct him. It's yeah, fine. correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, so these hippos have started exploring quite a bit. Yep. Um, walking into towns and people mm-hmm. love them. People are like, oh my God, yeah. they're so cute. Let they're me so feed cute. it. Let me feed it Let a carrot. It. Let me do this and that. <laughs> yeah. Hippos, Google it right now. Hippos are the most dangerous land mammal at the moment. Facts? That's facts. Damn. Land mammal is the yeah, key large word. Large land mammal. Damn. Yeah. It's so bad. They pack a punch, man. 3,000 kilos. 1,500 kilos. You think, oh, a hippo is like really big. I can like just outrun it if it starts attacking me. You cannot. How fast are they? In comparison, oh, a hippo. Got her facts. A hippo runs, what, like 30 kilometers an hour? Mm hmm. And Usain Bolt runs how much? 44 kilometers is his fastest per hour, I think. How much does. How long does it Insane. take? Insane. So basically, the only person that can outrun a hippo in this whole world is Usain Bolt. So And he probably can't even do that for the rest of his life. He's going to get old one day. <laughs> can't un- outrun the hippos at his age. <laughs> 30 kilometers an hour. Packing that weight. Yeah. That is seriously... Insane. That's seriously insane. Yeah, that's crazy. Insane. Now... So, what's um, the issues Colombia are facing Well, the then? thing is, mm-hmm. the public people don't see an issue. Yeah, they right? they love it. They're loving these hippos. It's like they're like town mascot. They're just like, wow. Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, they it, literally have an Escobar amusement park kind of thing. That's like a tourist and, yeah, attraction I think now about for these 50, hippos. 50,000 people a year post pre-COVID used to go a year to see the hippos <laughs> That's insane. in Pablo Escobar's mansion. It's insane. Oh. But to be all serious now, Colombia are kind of facing a crisis a an issue with these hippos Hippo even crisis. though the public don't see it these scientists perceive that this is an issue because mm. first of all have you seen how they poo it's yeah insane and some narrators you, say it's some toxic poo it's toxic it can kill the fish yeah you know there's like otters and other animals They're living in the... all in this water yeah. it's killing fishes otters you can't like fish if you want to catch any fish from that river you can't like use the water in the river you can't swim in the river basically think about this hundred hippos all plopping in unison (laughs) killing everything in the water polluting the water basically yeah not great not great for the ecosystem i mean these hippos a little bit on the selfish end got to think of other things in the ecosystem not just yourself yeah but imagine Pablo escobar he's wear, so rich wear diapers or something he's so rich that he's stuffing up a whole country's ecosystem insane right? you know Literally. he is actually so rich that he offered colombia 10 billion dollars mm. to pay off their country's debt oh so that they can God. um not convict him of any of his charges and just let wow. him slide. Man, I would have. Oh, I can't say that. I was gonna say I should have. Ta- they should have taken him up on that <laughs> offer, but I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> we don't approve of. Yeah, no, his he's lifestyle. done very bad things. So yeah, yeah. that line of work. Um, so 
on to the topic what are they doing to challenge this issue yes so another before we head off mm. into that direction let's talk about pepe pepe oh poor pepe yes so oh, in 2020 pepe. last year a colombian farmer um was attacked by a hippo mm-hmm. and what the sort of response and he sorry he was seriously injured like it was yes really i think bad. He, he broke his arm and like a lot of other complications. Yeah. He didn't yeah. die. No one in Colombia has died from hippo attacks yet. Yeah, yeah. And the government is trying to avoid that, obviously, because hippos are so dangerous and so aggressive and so unpredictable. Yeah. Um, so the authorities in Colombia basically killed Pepe, right? Yeah. The hippo. So the whole Col- the Colombian army was like, brah, brah, yeah, by Pepe. Pretty much, yeah. And, um, and the public were outraged. Outraged. They're like, you killed our boy Pepe? They called like the animal rights You serious, activists. bro? Yeah. How could you do that to Pepe? Hello? Huh? What happened? Oh. What happened? Hello? Technical difficulties. So yeah. What on. did Pepe ever do to you? Apart from chasing someone. Yeah, exactly. It's and terrible. I'm pretty sure like, for the most part, hippos are territorial. So they'll only like attack if you're in their area. Yeah. But because they're expanding so much, their area is growing. Yeah. And, and it's kind big. of going to eventually overlap with ours. Yeah. They're eventually going to be on top of each yeah. other. <laughs> not so being because, able to breathe. because of the public outcry, because of how people reacted, mm. um, it is now illegal. Is it illegal? Yes. In Colombia. By to, law. Hippos are protected by protected law. They're protected by law. You are uh, apparently, according to a news source that I read, they're protected by law and you're not allowed to kill them. Yes. Authorities are not allowed. But looking at it in the other perspective, hippos are an endangered or like vulnerable species. Vulnerable, yeah. So, I guess some people look at it like, oh, Colombia's like helping bring the numbers back up. It's helping, you know, yeah. conserve hippos or yeah. the species. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's just not the place for them. No, it's just not. It's and not good for the animals that are living there. The it's ecosystem, not good for yeah. the humans. Polluted water. And even the hippos, like eventually it's just gonna be too much of them there's gonna be too many how they're gonna sustain themselves it's yeah. just a thousand of them yeah. in like 10 years and yeah, like surely there's gonna be like fights and like fighting yeah literally just start betting on hippos pepe yeah. pepe's <laughs> son is like beating this guy up <laughs> oh man oh, insane man. so they suggested or scientists or the authorities suggested that a proper solution would be to slaughter half of the population, right? To cull in, them. In order, yeah, to cull them in order to control the population of these hippos. Which, of course, they can't do now. They since can't do that now. Since they're protected by law. Yes, and now, also, this law was driven by public outrage. You know, there's yeah, pressure from the public. Protests. Yeah. And, yeah. So they're like, you know, we, okay, let's not kill pip, uh, hippos. <laughs> let's not kill Pepe's family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, what other solutions? So, Step two, or mind you, Colombia is like bringing experts from around the world and like getting their opinions on this. So um, Mm. another suggestion was castration, which if you don't know what castration is, it's basically, I think Americans say they get neutered neutered they get neutered okay neutered dislike you make fun of their <laughs> accent how i don't dare know you? how would an australian say neutered they get neutered neutered which is so basically you take your cat or dog to the vet and desex them and neuter them which, is that how you use it <laughs> no, i don't know anyway so basically <laughs> they don't they aren't able to reproduce anymore once that operation is done mm. um why is this difficult to do on a hippo a hippo's reproductive organs are internal not external. Yes. So first you have yes. to trick a hippo into like walking into a box, mm-hmm. tranquilize the hippo, which people will probably like not yeah. be happy about. Yeah. I'm shooting a hippo with a gun to make yeah. it sleep. Yeah. Um, another thing people won't be happy about is that they have to like cut the hippo open like multiple layers because mind you... Three hour operation. Hippos, not exaggerating. Hippos are thick. It takes three hours just to find like... The internal, the internal organs. organs insane that's crazy yeah yeah so but for context basically what they do oh okay they've how, how many people have people how many hippos have they done it for four none none they haven't done it to any hippos castration i think they tried oh. or attempted or maybe they've done it on one or two um but it's just so expensive and so hard to do and you need a whole team and it's like this whole thing so wow. option three was sterilization yes okay Yes. Um, and that's chemical sterilization where the hippos just keep receiving vaccines or kind of needle But they have things. to capture them first. They do have to capture them. So what do they say? They put 
like they get a box where they can close like the door on them. And they just keep putting like cabbages. They or, put cabbage you know, in their it. Their favorite food. The hippo comes in and he eats the cabbage and he's like, fire, this is cool. And he and leaves. Then, the and next then he day, comes the in and thing. eats. So you're conditioning them basically yeah. to be comfortable in this box. So he's like, wow, once they're free all the cabbage. Way in, yeah, yeah, once they're all the way in, boom. Boom, close the door on them. The you cage can't is go shut. Anywhere. They're like, wait a minute, I used to get free cabbage here. Why am I getting locked this time? Yeah. It's because you got conditioned. Mm. They get trolled, they get fooled. They get conditioned yeah. and then they get sterilized, which takes multiple vaccines. So they just get needles, 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 needles. Needles and needles, <laughs> both. It's insane. Yeah, go on. And um, they, because of how much that costs as well. Mm. They're only able to do it on one hippo a year. Yeah. But there's so many being born. So you do oh, it to one man. male, but meanwhile, there's like 30 being born that Literally. year anyway. So um, it's not enough of an effort. Imagine to, doing to one the and then 100 get born. And then doing one and 100 get born. Like, yeah. It's not it's going not anywhere. It's not very effective yeah. at all. Yeah. At all. <sighs> man, it's tough. It is even tough. castration takes like three hours because the organs are and internal. Castration's even more expensive. Like yeah. imagine all the tools and the people you need to hire to like yeah, exactly. get all that done. Not it's, only it's is it lot. hard to do and it takes three hours and the organs are internal, but also think about the cost, like you said. Yeah, it's crazy. So what is the real solution here? We just pray for Col- Colombia, man. <laughs> pray for Colombia. Um, Colombia, if you're watching this. <laughs> <laughs> Columbia, if you're watching this, do not feed the hippos. Don't go next to them. They're yeah, like, just be safe. Um, I think another thing... It's a wild animal at the end of the day. It's not yeah. like if you see a cat in the street, you're like, oh my God, it's so cute. Yeah. It's not. It might look cute, but I know those teeth is There's sharp. been fatal or fatalities in Africa from them, but no one has died in Guys, Columbia. Guys, hippos are so dangerous that they attack crocodiles. Watch it. There's videos. Exactly. There you go. On that note. That's everything we've covered? Yeah. I think so. Um, yeah, so it's so interesting. And maybe we'll put down an article for you guys to read more. Um, you know, it's good to spread some awareness on this situation. On the cocaine hippos. On the cocaine hippos. And <laughs> we want to thank you guys for watching. And until next time, peace out. Take care. See ya. Peace. <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah, that was good. I feel good about that. We covered everything. I feel good about it.